Hello guys welcome to my YouTube channel creativegraphics.com And let's see what I brought for you guys today. Today we going to make this amazing gradient lines animation using Filmora 12. Using only these 4 effects. So let's see how it makes. Before going to the video please like, share, subscribe and turn on notifications for my day to day update. So let's go to the video. Okay guys first we need a stroke line shape. So I go to the sticker tab and I search this effect. Then I add it to the timeline. Then I get a snapshot of this animation. After that delete this animation, we don't need that. Then add our snapshot to the timeline. Then I scale down a little bit this image. And I change the duration to 10 seconds. Ok guys you can see this image has a black background. So let's remove it. Go to the effect tab, and search remove black background. Then add it to this layer. Then go to the effect settings and increase the threshold value. Also, it helps to thin our shape stroke line. So let's add our effect to this. Go to the effects tab, and search BCC wave effect. Then add it to the top layer. Ok guys now it looks like this. So then go to the settings and select preset. Then select the preset called a really big wave BSP. Then scroll down and select wave width. Then go to the start, and create a keyframe. Set wave width value to 218.7. Then go to the 5 seconds forward and change it to 400. Then go to the end point and change it again to 218.7. Ok now you can see it changing the wave style. Then change the speed value to 0.5. And change the wave angle value to minus 720. Okay, now it looks like this. Also, I add rotate animation to this layer like this. So go to the start and create a keyframe. Go to the end and change the rotate value to 360. Ok guys then export this project. Then add your exported video to Filmora. Then delete these layers, we don't need these. Ok let's add background to this. So go to the stock media, and I select this nice gradient color for my background. You can use any dark color you want. Then add your exported video to the timeline. So first we need to remove this black area. Go to the effect tab, and search remove black background. Then add it to this layer. Then select this layer and I create a little scale animation like this. Also, I create changing scale value animation too.
At the last, make it scales down animation like this. Also, I add rotation animation to this. Okay now it looks like this. So let's add more wave lines to this animation. Select this layer and take a copy. Then paste its top layer. So I use 16 copies for this animation. Okay then go 5 frames forward, and drag this layer like this. So do this your all layer like this. Okay guys now it looks like this. Okay let's add colors to this animation. So first I add an adjustment layer because we need to use blend modes. So I add it to the top layer. Okay then go to the effects tab, select Boris FX, and select Grand and Tints. Then select the BCC Radial Tint effect. Then add it to this adjustment layer. So then go to the effects settings, and select GPU rendering. Then change the rendering value to 16-bit for getting great color for this animation. After that change the view mode to the gradient. And you can add 4 colors for this. So I change the colors like this. Okay guys now it looks like this. Then go to the layer tab, and select compositing. Then change the blend mode to multiply. So go again to effect settings, and select radial grad. Then change the size value to 50. And you can rotate your colors like this. And change the aspect value to minus 100. Okay now it's so colorful. Let's add some glow to this animation. So go to the effect tab, and search BCC plus glow. Then add it to the top layer. Don't add it to the adjustment layer, because we change the blend mode of that adjustment layer. Then go to the effect settings, and change GPU rendering to 16-bit. It gives a nice glow look to our animation. Then go to the glow, and set the brightness value to 100. Okay guys our main part is done. Let's add text animation for this. Okay that's it guys. Let's see how it looks.
Okay guys this is the how to make amazing gradient lines animation using Filmora 12. So if you want to learn more like these Filmora tutorials, please like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification for more tutorials like this, and also leave a comment your idea about this video. So see you guys in the next vid. Take care and peace.